So you have to kind of wonder, why is tobacco so dangerous? Well, we thought we would ask a member of Congress who uses it, who smokes an occasional cigar. Troy Nels joins us tonight. Congressman, grateful uh, that you're here, willing to stand up for the most American of all pleasures, which is tobacco. Sorry to say it, it's true, it founded the country. Um, tell us why it's important for you to burn a cigar occasionally in your office. House Republicans just voted to allow smoking indoors at the Capitol. I'm Yasmin Khan with The Breakdown, and smoking indoors is legal again in one building in the United States, the Capitol building. Yes, in their latest effort to own the libs, Republicans, with their newfound authority, have decided to smoke inside again, despite decades of nationwide efforts to reduce smoking. Now, we all know that smoking cigarettes is terrible for you, but we also know that someone's personal choice to smoke cigarettes directly impacts those immediately surrounding them. We also know about secondhand smoke and its negative effects, and we can generally accept that a good rule of thumb by which we should all be living is to live your life on your own terms as long as you're not hurting anyone. Unfortunately, that seemingly self-explanatory rule of thumb has been called into question by members of the right. Now make no mistake, Republicans didn't allow smoking in the Capitol because they really want to smoke. This is an ideological stance that they're taking. It's perfectly in line with their general platform so much as they even have a platform, that they should be able to do whatever they want, wherever they want, whenever they want, with little to no consideration for others, and with little to no concern for consequences. We saw it with the masks. They didn't want to wear masks during a pandemic, even though masking was shown to slow the spread of pathogens. They said it was a personal choice to take the risk of getting sick, but they chose to ignore the fact that masking was primarily a means of protecting others around you, not yourself. Then, when other people would make the personal choice of masking for themselves, anti-maskers would harass them in public. Someone else choosing to wear a mask has literally no negative impact on the people surrounding them, but we all remember the pandemic-era outrage and outbursts directed at people who were simply wearing masks, not forcing or asking anyone else to, just wearing them themselves. And we see it with guns. Republicans can't even concede that there should be some gun control measures in place in this country, even though we have the most gun deaths in the world by a lot. I don't think I need to explain that people with guns can and do negatively impact those around them, and that's putting it lightly. They've created and perpetuated a culture of fear because somehow that's better than what they've chosen to perceive as a potential limit on their freedoms. And we see it with climate change and climate denialism, the people who not only don't believe that global warming is being impacted by human actions, but the people who mock those who are trying to do something about it. A cleaner planet is better for literally everyone, including the handful of people who are capitalizing off of its destruction. Still, capitalism, which is a man-made thing, is more important than literal life because capitalism is freedom, even when you're choking on it. Conservative voters have been sold on a life that's lived within a realm of feigned perfection. Life will never be the utopia they imagine it to be because that utopia would require them to live in an unsustainably exclusionary bubble. That bubble isn't real. It doesn't exist and it never will exist. This is not Pleasantville where it's always a sunny 72 degrees outside. Republican politicians and lawmakers know that. But for the voters, the smaller they're able to get the bubble, the smaller and smaller they'll want it. The more they'll find to exclude because things can just be a little bit more perfect. All the while, they're chipping away at the marble, trying to reach some impossible perfection they imagine is hidden within. It's a doomed mission, but they will hurt as many people as they can in the name of their delusion and discomfort. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe and be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you.